Late one stormy night, Emma found herself alone in an old, creaky mansion that had been abandoned for decades. The wind howled outside, rattling the windows, and the flickering candlelight cast eerie shadows on the dusty walls. She had inherited the mansion from a distant relative but had never visited it until now. Emma wandered through the dark corridors, her footsteps echoing through the empty halls. As she explored, she began to feel an icy chill in the air. Unsettled, she pulled her coat tighter around herself and pressed on. In the grand ballroom, Emma noticed a faded photograph of a family that seemed to have frozen in time. The faces in the picture stared blankly, their eyes hauntingly hollow. A sudden gust of wind blew through the room, extinguishing the candles, plunging her into darkness. Terrified, Emma heard faint whispers echoing through the mansion, voices from a bygone era. She stumbled backward, trying to find her way in the blackness. The whispers grew louder, and she felt a cold hand graze her shoulder. Panic set in as the ghostly figures from the photograph seemed to materialize around her. Emma could sense their presence, their sorrowful energy filling the room. The ghosts were trapped, yearning for something she couldn't comprehend. As she fumbled for a way out, a distant sound echoed, a haunting melody that seemed to seep through the walls. Drawn to the eerie tune, Emma followed it through the labyrinthine corridors. The mansion seemed to come alive with unseen forces, guiding her to an ancient attic door. Hesitant but compelled, she pushed it open, revealing a room bathed in an otherworldly light. In the center of the attic, an antique music box played the haunting melody. The ghostly figures gathered around, their faces expressing both gratitude and despair. Emma felt a connection to the past, an unspoken bond that entwined their fates. As the music played on, Emma realized there was more to this mansion than met the eye. The ghosts had a story to tell, and she was the key to unraveling their mysteries. Little did she know that the true horror lay not in the spectral presence around her, but in the secrets waiting to be unveiled, secrets that would challenge the very fabric of her reality. Emma, now entwined with the spectral energies, embarked on a journey into the past. The ghostly figures guided her through hidden passages and forgotten rooms, revealing the mansion's dark history. They spoke in whispers, their voices filled with pain and sorrow, recounting tales of betrayal, lost love, and a malevolent force that had cursed the mansion. In the heart of the mansion, Emma discovered a hidden chamber adorned with ancient symbols and eerie paintings that seemed to move in the dim light. The atmosphere grew thicker, and the whispers turned into anguished cries. As Emma approached a peculiar mirror, the glass rippled with a dark energy, revealing glimpses of a malevolent figure lurking in the shadows. The ghostly voices urged Emma to break the curse, to free them from the grip of the malevolent force that had trapped their souls for decades. The music box's haunting melody echoed through the chamber, and Emma realized that the key to breaking the curse lay within the forbidden rituals hidden within the mansion's depths, as she delved deeper into the mansion's secrets. Emma encountered malevolent apparitions that sought to keep the curse intact. Shadows danced menacingly on the walls, and the temperature plummeted whenever she approached the source of the malevolence. Yet, driven by a mysterious force, she pressed on, determined to uncover the truth. In the dim candlelight, Emma stumbled upon a cryptic journal, written by a long-lost resident of the mansion. The pages spoke of dark rituals performed in the dead of night, sacrifices made to an otherworldly entity hungry for souls. The malevolent force that haunted the mansion sought to feed on the living, and Emma realized she had unwittingly become entangled in a battle between the spectral entities and the dark entity that hungered for more. As she continued her quest to break the curse, Emma faced increasingly sinister challenges. Whispers turned to spine-chilling screams, and the malevolent figure in the mirror seemed to grow stronger with each passing moment. The mansion itself seemed to come alive, its walls shifting and pulsating with an ominous energy. Now, standing on the precipice of the unknown, Emma had a choice to make, to succumb to the malevolent force or to unravel the dark mysteries and free the trapped souls. The chilling winds outside seemed to echo the impending decision that would determine the fate of both the living and the dead in this cursed mansion. The story continued, shrouded in uncertainty and foreboding. As Emma ventured further into the abyss of the supernatural, Emma, guided by the whispers of the tormented spirits, found herself facing a series of cryptic challenges designed to test her resolve. The malevolent force grew more aggressive, manifesting itself in sinister apparitions that lurked in the shadows. Yet, 
she pressed on, driven by an unexplainable force compelling her to unravel the mysteries that bound the mansion and its ghostly inhabitants. In a forgotten library, she discovered a dusty tome filled with arcane symbols and incantations. The pages seemed to writhe with an ancient power, and as Emma read aloud the forbidden verses, the air became charged with an unsettling energy. The spectral figures surrounded her, their faces pleading for salvation as the room echoed with the unseen forces at play. As the last words of the incantation left her lips, the mansion trembled, and the malevolent force retaliated. The shadows coalesced into a nightmarish entity that thrashed against the walls, its wails reverberating through the haunted corridors. The very fabric of reality seemed to warp as Emma realized she had unleashed something far more potent than she could comprehend. Haunted by the consequences of her actions, Emma pressed forward, determined to confront the malevolent force head-on. The spectral figures guided her to a forbidden chamber hidden beneath the mansion, a place untouched by time where the malevolent entity lay dormant. As she entered the chamber, the air became suffocating, and a chilling presence enveloped her. An ancient altar stood at the center, adorned with symbols that seemed to pulse with a malevolent glow. The malevolent force, now looming shadow, spoke in a guttural voice, taunting her with secrets buried in the dark corners of the mansion. Emma faced a choice to succumb to the malevolent force and become a part of the cursed legacy or to defy the supernatural and banish the entity that sought to devour souls. The spectral figures watched with bated breath as Emma grappled with the weight of her decision. Unbeknownst to her, the malevolent force had a sinister plan that extended beyond the confines of the mansion. The very fabric of the spirit world and the living realm hung in the balance as Emma stood on the precipice of a choice that would shape the fate of both the haunted souls and the unsuspecting world. Beyond the mansion's decaying walls, the story lingered on the edge of an abyss, where the line between the living and the dead blurred, and the true horror of the malevolent force awaited its moment to be unleashed. As Emma grappled with her decision, the malevolent force continued its ominous whispers, playing on her deepest fears and insecurities. Shadows danced menacingly around her, twisting and contorting in grotesque shapes. The spectral figures, desperate for release, implored her to resist the malevolent force's temptations. The air in the chamber crackled with a malevolent energy as Emma hesitated. The malevolent force, sensing her inner turmoil, intensified its assault. Whispers turned into haunting screams, echoing through the underground chamber like a chorus of tormented souls. In the midst of the supernatural turmoil, Emma glimpsed a flicker of her own reflection in the dark altar. The reflection seemed to shift and distort, revealing a version of herself tormented by the malevolent force's influence. The realization struck her like a bolt of lightning. The entity sought not just to consume the souls within the mansion but to corrupt the living as well. Driven by newfound determination, Emma began reciting a counter-incantation from the ancient tome invoking protective energies to shield herself from the malevolent force's influence. The spectral figures, sensing the shift, lent their ethereal strength to bolster her efforts. The malevolent force howled in rage, its shadowy form writhing as it attempted to resist the protective barrier. As the incantation reached its climax, the very foundations of the chamber quaked. The malevolent force, now trapped in a swirling maelstrom of spiritual energy, unleashed a final, desperate surge. The mansion itself seemed to rebel against the unfolding battle, with the walls groaning and the air vibrating with an otherworldly force. In that climactic moment, Emma faced a crucial decision to banish the malevolent force at the risk of unleashing an even darker power or to succumb to the temptation and become a vessel for the entity's malevolence. The story hung in a precarious balance, teetering on the edge of a supernatural abyss. The outcome of Emma's choice would not only determine the fate of the haunted souls within the mansion but also rippled through the very fabric of existence, leaving the living and the dead entangled in a sinister dance that transcended the boundaries of the known and the supernatural. Emma, fortified by the protective energies and the support of the spectral figures, stood resolute in the face of the malevolent force's final onslaught. With a triumphant shout, she completed the counter-incantation, unleashing a surge of pure, cleansing energy that engulfed the malevolent force. The shadows writhed and contorted, and a deafening scream echoed through the chamber as the malevolent force was banished. The mansion quaked, and the very air seemed to clear as the spiritual maelstrom dissipated. The spectral figures, now bathed in a soft light, gazed at Emma with gratitude before slowly fading away, finding release at last. Yet, 
As the echoes of the battle subsided, Emma felt a lingering unease. The mirror in the chamber still held a reflection, distorted and wavering. It revealed the faint silhouette of the malevolent force lingering at the edge of existence. The entity, weakened but not vanquished, spoke in a final, chilling whisper, promising a return and an unending hunger for souls. As the last words hung in the air, the mirror shattered, and the distorted reflection dissipated into the darkness. Emma was left alone in the now silent chamber, surrounded by the remnants of a supernatural battle that transcended the boundaries of time and reality. The mansion, once haunted by the tormented souls and a malevolent force, now stood in eerie stillness. Emma, though victorious, couldn't shake the feeling that the malevolent forces' whispers would linger, waiting for an opportune moment to resurface. The story concluded with an air of unresolved tension, leaving the lingering question of whether the malevolent force was truly defeated or merely biding. It's time in the shadows. The mansion, now a vessel of both haunting memories and unfulfilled horrors, awaited its next chapter in the ongoing saga of the supernatural.